this process, package tracking is accomplished using a synchronous web service listener, which returns tracking status from a database to the calling system. Our start shape will be a web services server, and this receives the package information and then returns the shipping status. We want to be able to use this exercise to illustrate a pattern that can be used to expose business logic as a common service that's accessible to multiple clients, to provide immediate results to a requesting system, and to demonstrate a system where the information is only valid at the time of retrieval. So to be able to work through this activity, you will need your activity guide. And as always, I encourage you to pause the video here and work through the steps and then come back here so that we can review together. Our first step will be to get organized. You'll see I have a four dash integration patterns one folder here. And from there, the first thing that we will need to do is to download the processes from the process library. So you can browse the process library and we can filter on ARC3 to restrict the results. And we want to install both the synchronous web service request and listener. With both processes installed, let's take a few moments to review them. Let's look at the listener process first, and you'll notice that the second branch is incomplete. This will be the synchronous part, and we will build this out to return the documents. You'll note that we begin with a web services server shape, and this is configured to receive an XML document containing the IDs to track. That document will then be split into individual documents so that each ID can be looked up independently. We have a try catch shape in order to catch any errors, and that error will then be written to cache. In our map, you'll see that we have a SQL lookup so that the ID that's coming in is queried against the database and the status, shipment status, for that particular ID is returned. And that status is then written to the shipment cache. So our task is to develop a solution for branch two that will return the response document. So we want to use the package code in the source document to retrieve the stored shipment from out of the document cache, and then to be able to build the response document from there. Our first step will be to add a load from cache shape. And we'll select our document cache. And select our cache index. And for the parameter, we're selecting the value that's coming in through the XML document. So now we've loaded from cache and we want to next combine the documents so that we can return one single XML document. The profile to use is track status response. And our combined element will be track status and package. And finally, we add a return documents shape to the canvas. And save this. And that completes the listener process. Our last step will be to deploy this process to the Atom Cloud. So a note is made that you cannot deploy this process to the Boomi Training Cloud and have it work correctly because the Boomi Training Cloud is not correctly set up to handle accounts for the web services listener shape.
So once this process is deployed, we can go to Manage and then Atom Management. Click on our Atom Cloud. And underneath Listeners, you will see that our synchronous web service process is active and listening for incoming requests. Now let's set up an account to be able to access that process. So click on Shared Web Server. We'll make sure that the API type is set to intermediate and the authentication type is set to basic. Next, we'll click on the user management tab and add a user. And click generate for the token. And let's save that. Now that the listener process is complete, we want to finish building out the request process and test the whole system. And so to do this, we will need to configure our HTTP client shape to use our username and password that we just set up. So back in our build tab, we can open up our request process. To complete the request process, we need to configure the HTTP client connection. To do that, we're going to make sure that we have basic selected as the authentication type, and then we need to provide the username and password. So the username is what we created here, and it will be the fully qualified username, and you can grab that by copying underneath where you entered your username. And the password is what we created when we clicked the generate button. So we will copy it to the clipboard here. Let's save this and now we can test in the test atom cloud. And once that has completed successfully, you can click on the stop shape and then shape source data and click the icon. And here we can review the response document. And that completes our exercise to create both the listener and the request process for a synchronous web service.